Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the decay constant, its expression as well as the half-life as well as we have also discussed about the modes of decay and here we see we are going to talk about the numerical based on the activity problem number one. So what is the numerical? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, here it is a question which we have to solve that is the half-life of the polonium having an atomic mass number of 209 is found to be 102 years. How many alpha particles are emitted in one second from 2 milligram sample of polonium? So this is what we have to find out that is what is the activity of this polonium. So for that we have a certain data and those data are that is half-life which has been given as 102 years. And here we see 209, it represents the atomic mass number. But here we see we can also relate it with atomic mass for the polonium, which is 209. And here we see the duration in which the change should occur or the disintegration should occur is in one second. And the sample has a weight of 2 milligram. So based on all that, let us find out the given data and let us see that which formula we have to use so as to find out the activity of this radio element. So here the given data is that is we have T half that is half life as 102 years for polonium 209 and the time duration in which we have to observe this change is in one second. So as well as we have also got to know that is the amount of substance that has been given to us or that has been provided that is 2 milligram. So therefore I could say that is the weight or the amount of polonium is given as 2 milligram or I could write it here as 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 gram. And the atomic mass of the polonium that is I could write it over here as is been given as 209. Suppose if we have to find out the atomic mass then we could write it as 209 unified mass. So in this case we see since I have taken the weight in grams so I could write it here as the atomic mass it will be 209 gram per mole. So this is the data that is what we have find out from the above question and based on that let us see what are the formulas that we have to use and what is the data that we could find based on this given data. So first of all since we have to find out the activity and the activity is nothing but the formula here it is. The activity that could be represented as minus dn upon dt which is nothing but it is lambda into n. So here basically what we have to do is we have to calculate the decay constant as well as we have to calculate the amount of the substance that is disintegrated in one second that is the activity. So in that case the decay constant can be calculated with the help of the T half and even this amount of the substance that has been provided to us even that can be calculated and based on these two values we can calculate the activity of that particular radio element. So for that let me make you understand that is how we can find out the decay constant with the help of the t half that has been provided to us. So therefore the lambda that is the decay constant is equals to 0 0.693 divided by t half. But the thing is they have asked us to find the change or the disintegration within one second how much particles are being disintegrated or how much particles are being decayed in one second this is what they need. So for that what we could say is the time should be in seconds. So therefore we could say that is we have to convert the t half which has been given in the form of a year we have to convert it into seconds. So for that let me find out that what is the decay constant that we could get in seconds. So now let us substitute the value of the t half so therefore we could get that is 0 
divided by the t half has been mentioned in years so therefore we could write it here as 102 years multiply by there are 365 days in a year 365 and each day has 24 hour and each hour consists of 36000 seconds so let us see what is the value of the decay constant in second inverse we could get so here we have got to know that is the decay constant has the value which is 2.154 into 10 raised to minus 10 second inverse so this is the value of the decay constant that is what we have got but based on that we have to substitute this decay constant here but for to find out the activity we need the amount of substance that is basically provided to us so now let us find out the amount of substance that has been mentioned here in 2 milligram so we have to convert in the amount of particles that are being present in 2 milligram of polonium since we know one mole of polonium it consists of 209 it is nothing but 209 grams so that's the reason that uh, the amount of substance that will be present or the amount of particles that would be present in 209 gram of polonium it will be nothing but it will be 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 particles of polonium but what we have is we have that is 2 milligram so therefore we could say that is the 2 milligram or we could say that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 gram of polonium it will consist of n number of the particles or n number of atoms so therefore what we could do is we could do a cross multiplication here so therefore we could get 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 multiplied by 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 the whole divided by 209 so let's see what is the value we could get so here we have got the value as 5.76 into 10 raised to 18 atoms which are present in 2 milligram of polonium so this is how obviously we have got to know the value of n and since we have right now we have the decay constant and we have the number of atoms that are been present in 2 milligram of polonium so here basically we can find out the activity and for that we have a formula activity is equals to lambda into n so the value of the decay constant that is what we have got is here we could write that is 2.154 into 10 raised to minus 10 second inverse multiply by the value of n that is what we have got we have got as 5.76 into 10 raised to 18 so by multiplying this let's see what is the activity that we could get so therefore we have got the value here as so we have got the value 1240 into 10 raised to 6 particles per second or atom per second this is the disintegration or this is the activity that we could get so I could write it over here as so this is how basically we can calculate the activity of a particular radio element and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much